large bear tree on the bank of a river. On this tree lived a monkey called Ressa. He was a clever and good-hearted monkey. He offered berries to all the animals and birds who came to the river to quench their thirst. In the river, there lived Papadelphi and Bob. He lived with his wife in a cave at the bottom of the river. One day, Magor the crocodile came to the riverbank to catch his friend. It was a hot and sunny day, and Magor had not caught anything the whole day. Tired and hot, he dragged himself to the shade of the berry tree for some rest. He had hardly closed his eyes when he heard someone calling out to him. Hello, friend, I am up here. Magor looked up to find rest of the monkey smiling down at him. The monkey plucked a handful of juicy berries and put them down on the dog. Thank you, said Magar, and ate the delicious berries. From then on, every day, Magar would come to the river's bank to eat the berries dropped by the sun. Both of them became good friends. One day, Magar took some berries home to his wife. She found them delicious. Mmm, the berries are so tasty. How delicious would the monkey's heart be to eat these berries, he said. I want to eat the heart of this monkey. How can I do that? replied Magar. He's my friend. How can I kill him? But his wife would not accept no for an answer. If you don't give me his heart, I will starve myself to death, she cried. So Magar went to meet Reza the monkey. My wife liked the berries you sent her very much. She wants to meet you. She has invited you home for dinner, said Magar to Reza. I would surely come, said Reza. But they cannot swim, and you live in the river. I will carry you on my back. Reza readily jumped on Magar's back. Magar began to swim away from the bank. On reaching the middle of the river, the crocodile began to drift to dive from the water. Hey, what are you doing? Panicked Reza. I told you I cannot swim. Sorry, my friend, replied Magar. My wife wants to eat your heart, so I have to kill you. Reza realized that he was in grave danger. Is it my heart for? He asked in an understood voice. Why did you say so before? I would have gladly given it to you. You will have to go back because I usually leave my heart back at you when I go out. The foolish crocodile 